Hey, sweet friends. Welcome to the Ultimate Beauty Fixes group. My name is Casey, and I am actually coming to you live from this little place in heaven called Pensacola, Florida. I'm at my dear friend's home. I broke free. Don't worry. We are still <laughs> abiding by the uh, no more than 10. And I'm going to do a little plug for because in three weeks from today, she is launching her very first book. What did you say? I know I'm holding the book up. They can see it. She's over there screaming, laughing through the ugly cock. Yes, it's on Amazon. You can go and purchase it now. And I promise you, it'll bring you so much joy. Many of you actually have already read it. I know that you have. So tonight we are kicking off our color confident course and I could not be more excited. So this is not just for you, but it is also for your, um, your beauty consultant. So what I would encourage you to do is give her some feedback about what you're going to be hearing over the next couple of weeks as we go through contour and lashes and brows and lips and all these cool little things that we hear about, but we're not really sure how to implement because that's what we're going to be covering. And it's going to be short and sweet. It's not going to take very long. And I think you're really going to get a lot out of it. I always say our goal here is to bring you joy. We are not making light of the current situation at all, but I want it to be a place that we celebrate and have a good time and um, educate each other and really build some great relationships. I hope you're getting, you feel like you're getting to know me through all of this. This is our, we started on March 15th is when we started this group. So I'm super excited about um, the growth that we have seen. And of course, I am excited about the people that I've been able to meet. So I'm in, um, I'm in Florida. Happy Cinco de Mayo. If I could have found a sombrero, I promise you I would have had it on all day long. <laughs> but we didn't have that. But we did have tacos for dinner. Did anybody else have tacos? You'll have to tell me. I'll have to come and look. And if you are not familiar with this platform, I do encourage you to press the link at the top of this video. It's going to be the streamyard.com backslash Facebook or YouTube.com um, backslash um, StreamYard. And that way I can physically see your comments. So look how cool this is. I love, 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 love seeing all of these sweet friends. Hi, everybody. I'm excited you're on. So that's the reason we want you to click it. So I can see you when I'm not physically on Facebook Live. Isn't technology super cool? I feel like I am getting an IT education through COVID-19. All right. Of course, there's always giveaways. We mailed out six more today from our office. So don't worry. We're going to continue that. It's a new month, um, but we still are excited to celebrate each and every one of you consultants and guests. And um, one of the ways we draw a winner is by comments. We just put a um, random.org. I don't know if you've ever heard of it before, but I count out the comments and we put the number in the random generator and bam, whatever number comes up, I count down and that's the winner. So the more comments you enter um, here, then obviously the more chances you have to win. So make sure you're commenting. Could be anything uh, like this. Who invited you? Who invited you? And the other way, this has been super, super helpful for your beauty consultant, is to grab a sheet of paper or a paper towel or a napkin. It doesn't matter what you grab, but grab something. And um, I want you to do a little tic-tac-toe on it, and I want you to put your name on it. That way, when you share this picture with her, because I want you to take a picture and share it to her, either through Facebook message, through text, through email, whatever is your preference. Um, after we finish tonight, this is how I'm going to draw all the other entries is from this tic-tac-toe sheet. So every time I'm talking about a product that you, that intrigued you, that you were like, ah, oh, we'd really like to hear more about that. Or it's something that you want, write it down. And whoever gets, um, tic-tac-toe either across diagonally or horizontally, you are first tic-tac-toe winner, type it in tic-tac-toe, you're going to win. And then I'll be drawing from the other ones from that. So that is how our giveaways work. So make sure that you grab that. Again, my name is Casey. I am actually from Georgia, moved to Charlotte five years ago. And um, I've got three kiddos. One is 13, Anderson. And I've got twins, boy, girl twins that are 10 and two pups. And we all jumped in the car spontaneously on Sunday and drove 10 hours down here to my bestie's house. And um 
on her like absolutely stunning horse form. And it has been, um, it's called Trinity Staples and it's absolutely heaven. And it's just been good to break free of the house. <laughs> so uh, we're all in a better headspace. So I hope you can feel my inner energy has changed just being in a new space. So once again, who invited you? And we are going um, to get started on this fall of space. So I do have my eyes and my lips on and I have prepped my skin, but I'm going to actually demonstrate several foundations for you. I can't put them all on because my face wasn't that big. However, COVID's definitely made it wider. <laughs> Anybody else feel like they've got extra dimples than they had uh, pre uh, quarantine. But the first thing that I want to share with you is foundation is actually part of your skincare. Who knew that? Raise your hand, put a little hand up um, if you knew that foundation was part of skincare. But the reason I wanted to start it tonight is your foundation is your protection for your face. So whether you're using a primer or a foundation to be color confident, obviously it looks better with a prepped palette. And there's so many choices with foundations. Would you agree? Like there are, it's overwhelming. Do you want something that's thin, something that's full coverage, something that's sheer, something that's luminous, something that's matte, something that's buildable? Who knows? <laughs> but I felt like when I finally found, and it was after children, when I finally found the foundation that was right for me, I am, I am sold. I am sold. And I want to help you through that journey, to make those decisions, be educated about what you're asking for or what you're looking for so you know what to ask for. And I kind of compared it to finding the perfect bra. I don't know about y'all, but like it took me a hot minute to find a good bra. One that um, stayed up, one that didn't poke me and one that was comfortable and didn't give me rolls in the back. Like there's so many things about a bra. And I hope y'all aren't offended that I'm talking about your undergarments here, but I feel like at this point, we know each other, right? We know each other. And so I want you to know that we are here to help you find the perfect fit, ask questions, give us some feedback. If I, I am a one man show tonight, and uh, if I don't see the comments because I'm hand, handling these little things, y'all see these little things, two ways to win. I'm doing all that as well. So, um, and I'm trying to be obviously respectful of your time. I will come back and I promise you I'll answer it. But the first thing that I wanted to talk about is our amazing foundation primer. Our foundation primer is not water-based. It's actually silicone-based. It is oil-free. And the beautiful thing about our foundation primer is if you have sensitive skin, this has been such an answer to prayer for so many people that have um issues with wearing different primers. The primer is going to kind of be um, like you're painting a wall and you prime the wall. So you have to use less paint when you prime it. The color is more vibrant and true because it's it's like even out. And that is exactly what a primer does. So I put my moisturizer on, put my serums on. I use a tone correcting serum. Maybe I got an even skin tone. I use a vitamin C serum and um, I'll look. Am I getting giggles from Lynn about a bra? I know, I know. Hey, Crystal! Um, she's tagging her girlfriend. So, start with the primer. And the one thing I'll tell you about our primer is it's bought broad spectrum and it takes that much for, maybe that's too much. That's actually too much. That's about double, that's two days worth. For your face and a little bit goes a long way. Now, foundation and, you see how thin it is? Like a little devil to you. Foundation, primer, and foundation always go down and out, okay? Down and out on your face, so just like this, okay? I use my I use my fingers. You can use a brush if you want to use a brush, but for me, super fast and easy, and I've got clean hands. So I do the primer down and out, and then I'm actually going to jump to the it has SPF 15. I'm going to jump to the under eye corrector before I talk about foundations because this one, there's a difference. Can y'all tell in this picture? a difference between the under eye corrector that's more peach and then a concealer that's more the color of your skin. Can y'all tell a difference in the two of those? So an under eye corrector hides any blues, reds, or purples, okay? So I'm just gonna do one side. What side should I do? Let's do this side. Y'all, these, these cameras are backwards. So like you really have to think about what you're doing. I have redness there and then I've gotta stay on this side of the face. Redness there. Okay, I have it across my chin. 
So I actually use our blending brush. It is made of sponges. This is my personal one. So as you can see, um, I haven't washed it in two days. So it's sponges like that. There's 25,000 bristles and I blend this in and you are literally going to see the redness completely go away with this under eye corrector. I'm trying not to think when it's completely backwards. So even though it says under eye, trust me, I, what, what, this way. <laughs> I promise all I've had to drink today is my sparkling water. Y'all know me. That is always my beverage of choice. I didn't ask y'all tonight. What is your beverage of choice? I'm still waiting for it. I'm near the beach. We're not on the beach, but I'm waiting. We're going to go to the beach sometime before I leave. But um, can y'all see a difference in the side that does not have under eye corrector and the side that does have under eye corrector? So it is a drastic difference immediately. And you don't have to wear as much foundation if you have uneven skin. So I definitely recommend talking to your beauty consultant about a primer and an under eye corrector. OK, did you all like either one of those? If so, make sure you write them on your tic tac toe because you could almost win like one more item and you could almost win. I'm not going to talk about concealer just yet because concealer actually has light reflectors in it and it goes on top of your foundation. What? Did your head just go, what? I know, I grew up with concealer going underneath. Not anymore. They actually go underneath. I'm sorry, actually go on top, not underneath anymore. Under eye corrector goes um, underneath. Okay, so the first type of foundation that is probably our best seller simply because of simplicity and ease of application and the wide variation of color you can be without ever having to change is Mary Kay's CC Cream. CC cream also with a broad spectrum, SPF. Broad spectrum means it's an A, B found, um, SPF. So it, it helps protect against aging rays and burning rays. Aging rays are like computers, cell phones, fluorescent lights. Burning rays are, of course, the sun. So our CC cream, I'm just going to put just a little dab. It's going to have a little pump, just like so. Put a little bit on there. And then you can use your brush or you can use your finger okay this is like throwing me off to put it in and then you will see how easy this is going to feel just like a moisturizer it actually has um 13 different benefits i'm not gonna lie i don't know all 13 but i know that it has a concealer in it and you can see the difference in the side of my hand that has it and the difference in the side that does not so as you can see it is still very sheer you can still see my freckles but you're not going to see the blue veins or discoloration in your face, okay? So this one is super popular for weekend wear, for dash out the door wear, for summer, and you want some coverage, but you don't want full coverage. This would be the Mary Kay CC Cream. Here's the kicker, there's only five shades. There's only five shades. So once we find your color, I am light to medium. Um, I don't ever have to change. I am light to medium all year long, all year long. Now, I'm not in the sun a whole lot, but you know, just indirect exposure. Uh, from having three kiddos. So anyway, that is our CC cream. So talk to your beauty consultant. Anybody loving the CC cream? Does anybody use the CC cream? I'm just curious. Look at all these sweet people being. Oh, look at here. Lynn, I think is medium to deep. Lynn wears medium to deep. Oh, look, mother daughter. I love it. I love it. And happy Mother's Day coming up to all our amazing mamas. Um, okay, so that's our CC cream. And this one is great for the teens that are starting to want to wear a little bit, protect their face. And you have to remember, foundation is part of your skincare. So you will age slower. You will have more protection when you wear a foundation every single day. All the environment's not falling on your skin. Um, your pores aren't getting enlarged from impurities and it's protecting. OK, so remember, foundation is a good thing. So I always tell my daughter, when you start your menstrual cycle, you will start wearing foundation. So, you know, so there's a little bit of celebration and all that mess. And, um, and she, of course, will be doing the CC cream. All right. So here is the one that I wear on a daily basis. This is our matte wear. So we have a matte wear and a luminous wear. And I actually grabbed Dawn's luminous because most of the consultants haven't heard about the luminous. Where is my matte wear? I'm sitting here looking. I'm like, hmm, I don't have it. Well, I'll look in just a second. Sorry. Y'all should see my setup over here. It's pretty impressive, I have to say. Um, 
So with Luminous and Matteware, this is part of our anti-aging newer foundation line. It's actually the newest and it's great for sensitive skin and it's not going to give you a full coverage unless you put multiple layers on. Okay, multiple layers will obviously give you full coverage. But the thing that I love about it is not only is anti-aging, it's an oxidizing formula. So with an oxidizing formula, when you put it on, it's going to look, I did it today. Okay, hold on. Oh, I've got it standing up. So they look the same. Okay, they look the same. But one is going to say matte wear and one is going to say luminous. So the luminous is going to be the one for drier skin. You need more moisture um, throughout the day. And the matte wear is going to be for those of us that have more combination oily skin and help want to look more like a powdered finish, but not really painting ourselves with powder. So I'm going to put Dawn's book there so I don't get foundation all over it. It launches on the 26th three weeks from today so you have to check it out okay so my color is oh this is the luminous i'm going to show you the luminous on my hand so is that the stuff that i did the cc green yep i'm going to do it right here so with this luminous this one is that way you're going to see it has a glow just like the cc cream does because of it being can y'all see the kind of healthy glow that these have now, this one is a shade darker than what I normally wear. But as you can tell, it's not thick. It's not thick at all. People are like, I don't want a heavy foundation. I was like that. At all. Absolutely. I had a horrible experience with foundation for prom in high school. I was like, I'll never wear that stuff again. But ours is not that way. So let me grab my, here's one, my matte wear. And when you put it on, the best example that I can show you is actually, I'm going to do it right here on my collarbone. Can y'all see that? When you put it on, because it's oxidizing, it's going to look lighter than what it should be. Okay, so can y'all kind of see that on my collarbone? This is actually where you want to match foundations because when you take a picture, you want this and this and this to all be the same color. So you want to match it, and you can already see. It usually takes about 10 to 15 seconds to oxidize and blend to be the color of your skin. So I am, I am honestly super hot right now. Um, I was sitting outside earlier and the humidity here is up and I started sweating and I haven't cooled off. So this is already oxidized because my body temperature being warmer. So when I find the color that matches this, then I would put it all over my face. And I showed y'all the blending brush, which is honestly my favorite and a little dab will do ya. And these tubes last about six or seven months. And I just sorry, I make all those funny faces. I'm going to grab another mirror so I'm not sitting here stabbing myself in the eye. And I always start under my eyes because that is where I'm the darkest, okay, for my dark circles. But can you see how light it is? And then watch, watch as it heats up. And the thing that I love about it is it doesn't feel heavy. And that one drop. If I wanted it to, we'll do my whole face. I'm not going to do my whole face because I want to show you all another one. My going out. If I, my exit quarantine look. Okay. So you see how this one already looks more matte than this side. Can y'all see that? And it's going to heat up. So give it just a second. It's going to heat up and it will change. So I'm going to leave that. I know that was a little funny. But I am obsessed with these foundations, not just because of how long they last, but how lightweight they feel. So talk to your consultant. Um, but I would love to know, as far as the ones that are watching, do you think with it being summer that you would prefer a luminous with more moisture or would you prefer a matte with more oil, oil control and looking um, more like a powder finish? Which one do you feel like is popular right now? Love the blending brush. Oh, Joy can't even tell what it's on. I know. Love the satin finish. Okay, so Joy says she loves the luminous. Who else? Look at here. Renee says she mixes them. Y'all, Renee is about three days in Mary Kay, and she's already starting to learn all these tricks. Linda loves the CC. The CC cream is it's my best seller. I know. I know. Look at here. All right. I don't know what she's. It is. All right. Luminous. Look at here. I thought this time of year, y'all, this is so helpful for the beauty consultants to see what the, what is popular 
Crystal says, Matt, I wonder if it's about 50, 50, simply because of the humidity increasing. I feel like more of my customers go toward the matte wear that were luminous in the winter, but honestly, healthy skin glows, healthy skin glows. And that's how you get it is with the luminous foundation. So if you mix, like Renee was saying, that one of the things that is really cool is to do luminous here and, you know, in your T-zone and then do matte wear everywhere else. So you're glowing in the parts that would hit the sun naturally, if that makes sense. So, isn't that amazing? I love it hiding out all the red. And this is slow in the aging process. It's neutral. It does that by neutralizing free radicals as all those harmful things are in the environment and land on our skin and cause uneven skin you know, the fine lines and wrinkles, just all that stuff we want to stay around. This is being protected right now. Thank you, Mary Kay. Thank you, Mary Kay. Okay, so now let's move to endless performance. Okay, so I'm an endless performance girl. Has anybody else tried endless performance before? Endless performance has been around. Um, the Cranium powder has been around forever. Endless performance came out about five years ago, and it is updated. So this is our bronzer. This is our limited edition bronzer. And then this is our cream to powder, endless performance cream to powder. So can you see where I touched my finger? It literally feels like a cream when you touch it, but it dries just like a powder. It dries just like a powder. And the coolest part is, is it absorbs excess oil. So if I was going out on the town, let's see, I grabbed a, I grabbed another brush. So here is, here's honestly, so we have blending brushes. The blending brushes come in a box this size. So it fits into this, but you want to wet it and squeeze it under the water about three times for it to get triple the size. Okay, triple the size. But you can use a brush with a cream to powder, but I honestly prefer using my blending brush. So I am going to look in the mirror so I don't stab myself. And I want y'all to see the coverage here. And a little dab. Did y'all see what I did? Like a little dab will do you. I'm going to make sure I don't. So you start to see this gorgeous. So if you were filming, if you were having a long day or you're getting ready for a wedding, anything like that, this is hands down. This is what I use on my brights is cream to powder because it's matte. And the cool, cool part is it lasts. It lasts for a long time. Now, here's the disclaimer. Who wears cream to powder? If you have really dry, flaky skin, this is not the foundation for you. This is not the foundation for you. So this one is an ivory two. Um, what's in here? You're going to see I have a beige on this side and this is an ivory. I would actually be a beige one right now. So this is going to look a little light, but I wanted y'all to see the coverage of it because consultants cannot get samples of cream to powder. But we do have 100 percent satisfaction guarantee. So if you get something and you're not happy with it, like the wrong shade cream to powder, don't worry. We can swap it out. The main thing is, is figuring out what formula you like. OK, so you can see how all of that is blending beautifully with the cream to powder. I keep missing that spot right there. I keep rubbing it. So you can see the coverage is definitely more from the matte wear to the cream to powder. Can you see the difference? Oh, sorry. Come here. Sorry. When you're alive, you never know what you're going to get. Let me see these back. Hey, come here. Come here. Hey. No, 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 no. All right. It's all good. No one's breaking in. It's actually the owner of the house. <laughs> Craig just got back. Okay. So tell me what you think. How many of you have tried? Um, oh, didn't know your, oh yes, Renee, I'm so glad you brought that up. Yes. You want to wet your sponge. If not the sponge, so the sponge is not absorbing any product. If it's dry, it sucks it in and you lose a massive amount, a massive amount of foundation. So make sure that you always use a wet sponge. Okay. Um, cream to powder is not for Lynn because Lynn has really dry skin. Okay. So I'm glad she said that. Can you use cream to powder without the foundation? Well, this would be the foundation. Okay, that would, cream to powder is our fullest coverage foundation. So you wouldn't use a matte wear or luminous in cream to powder. It would be, it would be too much. It would be, it would, it would look, it would look painted on. 
But you can see if you have veins, if you have um, scars that bother you, or if you have discoloration, um, you know, for pregnancy mask or whatever, this is what I recommend for foundation until we get your skin to the way that you feel more confident wearing more of a sheer coverage like this one, if that makes sense. But hopefully you can see, I love this stuff. Um, it's not my everyday, but it is something that if you have sensitivity to, you know, breaking out and redness or whatever, both of these, both of these are amazing. Amazing. Um, I have tried it, but I'm a dry gal. Yes. If you are dry, this isn't, this one is not the foundation for you. Now, I will say a lot of that has to do with what's underneath. Like if you use the day cream from the repair line, I feel like you can get away with it. But I think all of that, let's see, how about on top of CC cream? I would not. Because of this being a creamy formula, you're really going to rub all of the CC cream off. I have never tried it. I will say that I've never tried that before, but I, I think less under the skin with this one because it's a fuller coverage, the better. Okay, the better. Great. I'm so glad you're asking questions about the endless performance. I probably sell as many endless performance cream to powder. And it's so funny. Dawn, the house that I'm at now, we've been friends for like 11 years. We vacation together every, well, we don't really vacation together. I vacation at her house every year because <laughs> she lives on the Gulf. Like who wouldn't want to come here? And I came down the first summer. She's like, what are you wearing? I'm like endless performance. And she's like, what? Like she was in Mary Kay and had no idea, no idea about endless performance cream to powder. So it's really a hidden gem. Um, not many people know about it, but if you get them on it, they will tell the world, they will tell the world. All right. So let's talk about, um, mineral powder versus pressed powder, mineral powder versus pressed powder. Let me find. So pressed powder is, comes just like this. OK, this is a beige one and that's the way it looks. Pressed powder is what most women keep in their purses to touch up. So like if I wanted to touch up during the day because I'm oily or my red's coming through, I'd grab a little bit of this and touch up. Now, this product does not look good reapplied over and over and over again. The reason is, is this is so finely granulated that it starts sitting on top of the hairs and stuff on your face and you're going to see it. Mineral powder is also, of course, powder, but it's much larger granules. It's much larger than the pressed powder. So you're going to get a fuller coverage with the mineral powder. But I think the biggest thing about mineral powder is, well, you would use a brush, first of all, not your finger. Um, I don't even know if I have a, I don't have a mineral powder brush here, but you would use a brush to blend it in, is um, it doesn't last all day. So you have to prep it before and then spray it after for it to give you an day wear the mineral powder. Now, a lot of clients are like, well, don't I need a powder with the uh, foundation? The answer is no, you actually don't need a powder. Now, if you like the way that feels, if you feel like you are more of a finish and it's holding on, by all means, you can add it. But the mineral powder is going to be like a full coverage foundation on top of another full coverage foundation. So this is going to give you a ton of coverage and it would honestly end up looking like this side. OK, it's going to give you this look if you choose mineral powder on top of your matte wear. What I would recommend would actually be the I talked about the sheer mineral. I wouldn't wear it every day unless you're just touching up. That would be my suggestion for that is our translucent loose powder. So loose powder got a little face left about six years ago and loose powder went away. And now we have what they call translucent powder. So it looks just like baby powder. It is the finest granulated powder that you can buy. And regardless of what skin tone you are, when you put it on, it completely disappears completely disappears. So this is going to set your foundation, give you more long wear and help with any shine that happens during the day. You want to use a powder brush to apply this. And I just grab a little bit on my brush like this. And then I just simply dust it on my face, just like that. It doesn't take very much. The women that are super young and that are baking, what you do is consultant. I'll be curious to see if you've ever heard of this is you would put some in your lid like that. You ever heard of people baking their face before and you take our incredible finishing spray and then you would spray your brush like this get your brush a little damp put it in the powder so it's really packed on and then you pack it on just like that okay and you let it sit for about five minutes and so it's baking 
your body temperature is heating it up and drying the translucent or drying the finishing spray in it. And then you dust the excess off. So when you see magazines and they look super illuminated here, a lot of times they've been baking to give them that really defined contoured look. Now, I think there gets to be a point in our life when we don't need a massive amount of powder there. It's going to look crepey and dried out. And it's going to age us um, unless the skin is super illuminated and hydrated. So I am past the point where I will be baking. Um, my skin is just, you know, hadn't been there for a few years, actually. But I do love the translucent to set my powder. OK, so any feedback about um, look at here baked after my time. Oh, look at there. Lori has, our joy has baked before. Translucent powder is amazing and this smells fantastic. I know. Well, it's considered fragrance free, but it is. It is a very, very clean, clean. Look at here. I'm going to revisit it since I've been using it. I'm so excited that y'all are willing to try a couple of new things. Okay. So that is the last thing. The last thing that I'll tell you about is the finishing spray. So finishing spray is actually what I use because I have a sensitivity to SPF. And so the foundation primer, even though I love it and you hide all of your pores, it's kind of like spackle. Like you don't see all your imperfections when you put your foundation on when you use a primer. I My face prefers this, which is a, um, a makeup finishing spray. And when you spray it, it's going to be, I don't know if you're going to see it in the camera. It's going to be just like mist. It's very lightweight. And you're going to do an X and then you're going to do a T. So just like that. And you close your eyes while you're spraying it clearly. And it sets your makeup for 18 hours, 18 hours. So if you are um, a girl that has a hard time keeping their face on, maybe their shadow during the day, like I did this really early this morning and we have literally been outside all but about an hour today in the humidity down here. I think it's 88 here today. So um, it really truly does work. You can also use it on areas where you sweat profusely. It'll seal. So like men will sometimes that are um, in the makeup industry that are in the lights will spray their forehead so it doesn't drip down. Or if you sweat and you're wearing a satin shirt, um, you can spray that area, you know, underneath that nice bra that we're talking about your armpits. Like it helps with all of that, all of that. So um, it's a cool little product and it doesn't clog your pores and it doesn't cause breakouts. And I love it. We actually bought the formula with Scandinavia, which is the number one finishing spray in the world. So we, bought the formula and we're able to put our name on it. So it is actually Scandinavia, but it's a lot cheaper with Mary Kay. So we're not paying for storefront. So it's a little different on our end because we're not having all that rent. So if you're like, okay, does anybody have tic-tac-toe? Did anybody like any of the products playing tic-tac-toe? <gasps> Look at here. We will need that. Look at here. Multiple use finishing spray. I know. What is y'all's favorite way to do it? All right. Let me know if you have a tic-tac-toe. All right, so if you want to continue this happiness at home, I want to show you right here. The products that we talked about um, tonight, This, these are your specials for watching and um, participating with your beauty consultant is this Flawless Face, this one right here. So the Flawless Face, you would have the brush of your choice. Now, I'll be honest with you, the blending brush that's in that picture is my favorite. It is my favorite, and I feel like it gives you the most natural look, um, finished look of all the brushes. But we have, you know, a liquid foundation brush. We have the blending sponge. Um, so anyway, we have tons of tools, tons of makeup tools, so you can pick and choose what you want. And then I also put the translucent powder in there because I think the translucent powder is pretty stinking amazing. You know what I've been using it for um, during quarantine? I've, I've told this a few times is I use it for dry shampoo. It has been the best thing for dry shampoo and it's, it just has no, no smell and I don't like smells. So it's, um, it's been pretty amazing. So that's your flawless face. And then this is, um, it says color set, but like you can see here, I use the compact and put my bronzer and my cream to powder in there. So if you want to like that, if you want to put together a compact of your choice, maybe you have a couple shadows or a cheek and some pressed powder or cream to powder, talk to your consultant and she can hook you up. And, um, and then there's all kinds of little specials in there. If you need some fillers for Mother's Day, because I know I got Mother's Day coming up. So talk to her about your, um, about your needs and your wishes, um, your wish list, I guess I should say, and make sure you text a picture of um, your tic-tac-toe sheet so I can draw from that. But I want to talk about right here on the bottom left. The, our best deal, our best deal is 
becoming your own beauty consultant. I never want to keep that information away from anybody so you can make an educated decision because we start out making 50 percent from get-go 50 percent and um, the blessing is right now Mary Kay is offering not a hundred dollar starter kit now this one's available if you want all that product so we're five hundred dollars worth of product but you can also get started for thirty dollars and have access to everything online that we have access to including a website that they run including a way to process your customers credit cards for thirty bucks thirty bucks <laughs> I spend more than that at Chick-fil-A when I take my family. So talk to her if you have any questions about shopping 50% off, adding an extra 50, 100 bucks to your family's account um, every week, or if you want to be a boss babe and be able to obviously have unlimited earnings and earn free cars and trips and diamonds and make girlfriends that you get to do life with, which is why I'm here right now. So let her know if you have any questions with the um, the different specials and like I said at the end right here text your sheet to your beauty consultant so we can be a, do a drawing so thank y'all for watching and Thursday night I wanted to tell you right quick Thursday night we are going to be celebrating our superheroes and um, they are going to get a special that night for participating so that is any teachers any nurses and any moms um, because this is their week. This is teacher appreciation, nurse appreciation, and of course, Mother's Day. So if you can um, think of someone that, that has made an impact on you or that has touched you in some way, please say, I have a gift for you. Will you please join this group? And I promise you, we will give them a gift on your behalf because I really want to celebrate them all week long. So it'll be Thursday night right here, eight o'clock. Um, on the Ultimate Beauty Fixes group and um, let us know if you have any questions, but I'm excited to go back and read your your information about the foundations. Clearly, this needs to be a beige one. Yeah, that's the right color. That one's not. <laughs> it's funny to see it in the light. All right. We well, all have a great night. Thanks again for and I'll see you soon. Bye.